We hope that you enjoyed the first part of the series. We'll continue our walk down through Lander Bazaar up to Missouri Town in this part, so join us. This hillside, as you may have noticed, has escaped the onslaught of rabid concretization. Thanks to its falling under the army cantonment area, colonial houses still survive. Though the erstwhile so-called outhouses have now been renovated and modified, the road you see used to be a walking path, but now cars frequently grown up the road. As in other places, the tranquility is being lost. We are taking a shortcut and will join the main road near Hazelwood, where we spent a very enjoyable part of our lives. We are back on the main road. Hmm. Well, sorry for cool. hmm. This is the entrance to Hazelwood Compound. Really love these British colonial names, which have luckily survived. It is really interesting to read the names of the buildings as we walk. Next to Hazelwood is Sunnybanks, named so as the house location was really sunny. Enjoy a panoramic view of Missouri. The high peak you see at the other end is Hathipayon, where George Everest House is located. Please see the video on it if you haven't. The field below is of Survey of India, very popular with the locals for cricket matches. This is the home of popular author Ruskin Bond, a landmark in itself. This colorful building is a Tibetan restaurant. Do you see that TV tower on the hilltop? We started our walk from beyond it. This gazebo commands an awesome view and shelter during sudden downpours. Sadly, it appears to be in a dilapidated condition. This large building is the Mullingar Castle. Now mostly Tibetan families live there. There are a couple of antique dealers on this steep Mullingar Road. They have items which have been mainly sourced from the old colonial houses. One can find some really interesting items here. We found an old compass with leather case, which bore date of an early year of last century. This is Mullingar Crossing. The road on right goes to Danalti and New Terry. There are a few shoemaker shops on this road where one can buy leather footwear at very reasonable prices. We are now entering the Lander Market. It still has the feel of an old hill town bazaar. On our right is the Survey of India compound, These South Indian restaurants used to be very popular at one time and served delicious dishes. Didn't try them now. Maybe they are still as good.
This is the clock tower of Landor, which has been recently renovated, a landmark of the town. We have walked from a place beyond the TV tower marked with an arrow. Quite a distance. Thankfully, we were coming down. We are now almost at the Picture Palace, the eastern end of the Mall Road, which we will cover in the next part of this series. So please don't forget to watch. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.